Carlos, hey man, it's, it's cool you're passing through town and just like any good reefer, I've got to send you home with some frags. I've got some organ tort in the other side of the tank. Hook you up. I will never say no to a tort. Thank you. Yeah, I'll give you a frag of that. Come here, I'll check it out. All right. Yeah, watch this. Mark, what's going on here? It, I mean, I'm, you know, it's just, I'm gonna get to it eventually. I, I'm busy. <laughs> you know what? Let me call Jimmy right now. Yo, yo, yo. Well, guess what? I'm over at Mark's, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and guess what? I just tripped over some power cables and power supplies. By his tank? Yes. <laughs> what a hypocrite! I thought of you because didn't he give you a lot of crap? Oh, didn't he give me crap? The dude went to lunch and said, hey, what a, I'll come back when you got this all cleaned up when he was at my house. It was like I was being graded, like some kind of child. How many? Uh, probably what, about five or six? Oh, <laughs> not just one cord. Oh, and people hire this guy. Come on. What the heck, Mr. Saltwater Tank? He's like, oh yeah, I gotta get, you get this all organized. Ah, oh, what a hypocrite. Bust it. All right, I left some of my power bricks on the floor. And like most of you, I had every intention of handling this eyesore and I let it go because I was spending a lot of time staring at my tank. Now I could mount the power supplies to a wall, which isn't a bad idea, and ideally I'd get rid of these 12 and 24 volt power supplies and control the devices that these power supplies once powered. How am I gonna do that? And more, I'm gonna do it with the Hydro's Kraken. The Kraken can power 12 or 24 volt devices like lights, power heads, auto top off, and return pumps, all with one power supply. That means all these power supplies on my floor go away, leaving less mess around my tank. Let's clutter around my tank, sign me up. When I first saw the Kraken, I thought, okay, power brick replacement. But if I just use the Kraken as a power brick replacer, I'd vastly be underutilizing its capabilities. The Kraken can control 12 and 24 volt devices that's plugged into it. Now, wherever I am in the world, so long as I have internet connectivity, I can access the Kraken and see what's going on power-wise around my tank and turn on and off devices that's plugged into the Kraken. Again though, if I stop there, I'd be leaving so much of the capabilities of the Kraken behind as Carlos explained to me. Carlos, the first time I saw that Kraken, I was like, okay, I'm getting rid of power bricks, which is nice because you have a tank long enough, power bricks just start to stack up. But the other nice thing you always told me about the Kraken is power management. So yes, we can remove the smaller power bricks. Okay, but if the power goes out, if we set up the Kraken correctly with an external battery, it's gonna run things. Absolutely. Then it'll make it easier because then the hydros automatically will detect the drop in voltage, kick up the battery, and then you can create a special mode. Kind of like you create feed mode water change. Mm -hmm. You create a special mode where you only have certain things running at certain speed, and then it saves your tank from a disaster. And even if I'm on a 200 gallon tank or a 90, mm -hmm. and you bump the pump down to 30%, if you have an extended power outage, you're exchanging gas, you're gonna keep things alive. We're not worried about having a flow for the SPS. We just want some gas exchange until the power comes on. Exactly, and I think that's one of the biggest things that I like to clarify to people when I get on the phone with them or talk to them at trade shows, is that they ask me, it's like, oh, what about my return pump? And it's at this point, return pump doesn't matter. This point, all you need is water movement in this box right here. What happens in the sump, it's, it's irrelevant because it's more important to keep that water moving in here for the oxygen and the fish and not worry about the sump. The sump will be okay. It would be nice to run the return pump, but it's probably gonna eat up a lot of juice. Exactly. We just wanna keep the circulation going. Hopefully your power comes on. Because probably if the tank doesn't get too hot or too cold, you could run for a day or two with just the circulation as long as you're getting the gas exchange and be fine. Yeah, and with the Kraken, you can actually put a battery that fits what you need. So in a 1,000 gallon system, you want a bigger battery or you wanna create a battery bank where you daisy chain several batteries. So it depends on what you want. And it also has drive ports, so it could power another pump or an air bubbler of types to keep Ab things going? Absolutely. It's got 24 volt uh, ports and it has 12 volt ports. And when the battery kicks in, the 12 volt ports will run at 12 volts. The 24 volt ports will step down to 12 volts. And that's how most of the 24 volt appliances like pumps and everything can detect that they're running in battery mode and then they slow down. Ah. 
so we can extend things even more. But again, at this point in time, you want little water movement. You're not worrying about SPS and, and nutrient export. <laughs> I just need water movement and I need to extend that water movement as, as far as possible because I never know when power is going to come back. And when it comes back on, the Kraken detects that, kicks everything back. Absolutely. And then there's a little feature that we added in there. So you can actually, even though the power comes back on, you can actually have a delay start on the normal mode because you know, when power's been out for a while and then it comes back, sometimes it come back, comes back at full force and that's when things get damaged. Mm. So what the Kraken does is once the power comes back, it waits about a minute, whatever you want to set it to. And after that, then it kicks everything up. So it's, it's bypassing or waiting for that spike in power to come back down and normalize and then turns everything on, protecting everything from getting damaged. So I've got myself covered if I don't have a generator or if I had a generator in the garage for me to get home, wheel it out, you know, you could have a generator, but unless the generator is connected directly to your power and it starts on when the power goes out, a generator is only as good as when you're home. Mm. If you're not home, it's like not having one. And even in extreme situations like North Carolina, you can't just run and get gas because there is no gas or you can't get out. So yeah. your host. Yeah, your host. So you're going to, you always want to have that. I mean, I know people say, I'll have a generator and everything. This hobby is, we've learned, you and I have been long enough, and people kind of, as they get more into the hobby, it's all about redundancies. Mm. And yes, you have a generator, it'll kick in, but Murphy's Law, the generator doesn't have any gas. So now you need that battery. So always be prepared. So in my case, I've got a whole house generator to cover everything. Mm -hmm. It'll automatically kick on, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a battery onto the Kraken. So worst case scenario, it's gonna run some circulation in here. Yes, exactly. That's, that's what you need. Safe redundancy. On my tank, the Kraken is powering three LED strip lights and two power heads, which means all of this mess can go away. It's not needed anymore, less clutter on the floor, which makes me happy, and less power bricks to have to deal with. And I'm also using the Kraken to control these devices. I can turn them on and off wherever I am in the world, so it's acting as a controller too. Now, currently, I don't have a lead acid plugged into the Kraken. Why not? Because I have a whole house generator on my house. But for the cost of a lead acid battery, I really should just go grab one and hook it up so I can configure low power mode on my hydros because two of those power heads are right up near the water line. If the power goes down and for some reason the generator doesn't kick off, well then the Kraken will sense that low power mode, make sure that those power heads are kept running, but the lights can go ahead and turn off because again, when your power is out, don't worry about your lights. Flow is what you want to worry about. And of course, temperature, manage that as best as you can in a power outage situation. So, very happy with the Kraken. Glad that these are out of my life. I'm always happy with more control. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up that lead acid battery. Give me another layer of security on my tank if the power goes out to keep everything up and running. I'm Mark Cowley and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwaterquarium.com. Till next time, enjoy your tanks and we'll catch you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.